Have you ever wondered why? Sometimes when you're trying to draw like the pro manga artist, you cannot imitate their style. Your art looks flat. Your art looks wishy-washy. I think I found the reason. So let's get into it without any further ado. You need to understand that the anime style is heavily dependent on the paper technique. Let me show what I mean. Everything you gotta do is know how to use flat shapes. Literally flat shapes. You know what I'm saying? I'm using a paper to draw. This, a literal paper. This girl can be simplified using paper, simple shapes. And you need to be able to design in perspective. Like that. It's literally flat shapes I'm using. Flat shapes. That is being used. You see this? Like that. Like this. Even like this. And like that. The hand. I mean the arm. Not complicated. Just need to use the same paper technique to draw. That's one done. Even the moves, just simple shapes. You know what I'm saying? Here, you have your girl. Now let's move to my man Gojo. Rest in peace. Even him could be simplified using simple shapes. Simple shapes, the paper technique, remember. That paper, flat, shapes flat shapes it's gonna give the illusion of perspective to not worry about how your drawing is gonna look just place it place the paper to create an illusion right an illusion of anatomy even this little girl right now the same technique was used. The paper technique. This time, trying to draw a character in perspective, giving the illusion of form using the paper technique. You see, I'm using flat shapes, nothing to complicate it. This helps a lot when trying to capture quick positioning while using your gestures. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to find a position for your character, but you're not, you don't want to spend too much time drawing, that's the best thing. You know what I'm saying? The best thing to do is using those simple cube-like shapes. Do not forget to keep them flat. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter whether you're trying to draw the foot. Do not think about complex details. You know what I'm saying? Just keep them simple, simple shapes. Let's give her a little bit of tail and cat like ears. Yes. The other one, my friend, is gesture and form. Now that you have a little bit of base on using um, the paper shapes, we're going to combine it using a little bit of 3D form to convey more the illusion of perspective. You know what I'm saying? Gesture, flat shapes, perspective is going to make sure that the uh, drawing is full of life. Let me show you what I mean. If I want to draw, I will use boxes to place my head in perspective. Combination of boxes and flat paper-like shape to draw my character. You know what I'm saying? Another tip I got for you is to learn to exaggerate. For example, this foot, to make sure to convey the illusion of perspective, I can exaggerate it. Make even this one bigger. This foot bigger to convey the illusion of depth. I can even make this arm bigger like that and bigger.
anyways guys i'm gonna put some notes for you to study with all that being said guys i'm gonna see you on the next one